Have you ever, ever wondered how hard is it to get a dark web website like me? As you can see, John Doe, and it, there's a title as well. Have you ever wondered how difficult it is? Well, I can show you. Basically, all it takes is just this, and you got yourself a website on dark web. And it's basically, you don't pay any money. It's hosted basically on your computer, and it's hosted through this terminal. And as you can see, as soon as you make a request, obviously this is local, but basically anybody on the dark web can access it. And it works, right? And as you can see, it's dot .onion, which means it's on the dark web, which basically only specific people can access it. And all it takes is Python 3 dark web browser or Tor browser, whatever you want to call it. I just, I, there's a couple of names I call it. I usually call it dark web or Tor browser. And Tor service, which is a bit different than Tor browser. Now, I will actually teach you how to get this. First of all, what you need is a Tor browser. So we're going to go on Tor. So if you just go Tor Browser, as you can see, Tor Browser, download Tor. Now, I'm using Linux. I suggest using Linux as well because it makes it easier. Plus, Linux is used by companies for hosting servers and stuff. So if you go here, remember, if you're using Windows, actually, this video is only for Linux, actually, but you can try and do it for Windows as well because there's different commands and stuff. You download for Linux. And as you can see, I have a file. As soon as you download the file, just make sure to basically, there's a wee command file, which would basically show you. It takes two seconds to install it. Basically, if you read the config file, it tells you what to do. If you go to your terminal, it will basically tell you what to do, right? Okay. So as soon as you've installed the Tor browser, the second thing you need to do is install the Tor service, which we're going to do right now. So basically sudo uh, apt install or, and you just need to put your password in. And as you can see, I have installed Tor again, right? Just for this purpose, for this purpose of this video. And as soon as you've installed it, that should be basically done with Tor, right? You've installed Tor on your computer now. And, and if you have a Tor browser, if you just press your, like, for example, I have a Windows button on my keyboard, it should be the same for you. If you just put Tor browser, it should uh, open a browser. Obviously not my website, but I should open a Tor browser, right? Let's just leave this for a minute because I'll lose the link. Okay, so the first, second thing you need to do is create a file, like example, a folder on your desktop, preferably. So if you click it, I have, I have it here. So if you just click on your uh, desktop, basically, a Tor server, like me, whatever you want to call it, um, just create a new file. So we need to do it for terminal because it's easier. So Tor server, if you just do touch sample test. Oh, sorry. You can't do test. You need to be HTML. Test.html. Remember, it needs to be HTML, right? I can delete this. And as soon as it's HTML, um, okay, nano, and then just go test.html. And you just put whatever you want. So, for example, let's just put just a wee easy script. So, let's just put head. Let's just do a wee title right on the website. So, let's just do title. HTML is very easy. So, basically, we do this HTML. So, just put our web, right? It's not going to show up because I'm going to use the other website, but I'll show you how to change stuff. Control S and it saves the, saves the document, right? Right, okay. So as soon as you basically um, have done this, what you do is just now, I will show you again. I'm just going to leave this side. Don't forget the thingy command. So basically what you need to do is go to your directory, the Tor. By the way, if, you, if you're having a problem with the directories, what you need to do is just go. Yeah, so this is basically when you start your terminal, you need to do that. They are DIR or LS, what up to you? I usually do both. Uh, CD desktop. CD. And you can do DIR here as well. It shows you what I've got. CD Tor server. And as you can see, index.html, index.html, save test.html. Nano is how you edit files. There you go. And basically, this is it. Okay, so now how to start a server. To start a server, all you need to do is just put 
you, I don't think you need to be in your directory, right? All you do is just Python 3 space uh, dash m space http dot server slash uh, dash dash bind one two seven zero zero one eighty eighty. Now, if you've never done networking or basically anything to do with like local host servers and stuff, you'll know that one two seven zero 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 one is your loopback address, which means loopback means on your local network. This means that the everything you do is sort of hosted on your network, right? Which means that the whole server is stored on my computer right here, right on this machine. Now, obviously when you basically host the server on your computer, no one is, no one has remote access to your computer. Don't worry. However, because we are dealing with the dark web, we don't know what's going on or we don't want to know what's going on. I would suggest using a virtual machine. Virtual machines are lifesavers because it doesn't affect your host machine, your actual computer, right? So if anything was to happen, you somehow get hacked, you don't actually lose any files and you don't lose your files and stuff like that. So I suggest using, as I said, a virtual machine. And we can also do if you don't want to, for example, you want to host a dark web website and it stays there forever. Because as soon as you turn this terminal off, right, as you can see, serving HTTP on this, this, this port 8080. And by the way, this is not on dark web yet. It's just on your local host. I'll show you in a minute. Right? This is all just local host. And by the way, the reason is, is you can't see any more requests because this is actually sore. It's on the dark web now, right? So as you can see, I just sent another request. Let's just this, let this finish. And if you go to your terminal, as you can see, actually there's another terminal, sorry. <laughs> there's another request, doesn't matter. Sorry. Um. Right, anyway, so now how to get on the dark web. To get on the dark web, all you do is just go to um, your terminal, cd etc or sorry, you need to go to cd etc tour. Now, uh, you do dr, and as you can see, we need this file t or c. So, you do nano tour, and you don't touch anything here. So, you just go down, 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 and you need to do this section is just for local, local location hidden services. This, this is all we need. Right. Um, I hope I'm not exposing anything. I might just blur this out just in case I don't want to, my website get owned <laughs> and stuff like that. Actually, I wonder how, how much actually I actually want to host my website on like a Amazon cloud or whatever, right? So basically go to this address y two dots z. you go down and this will be hidden. It'll be basically commented out. You uncomment it, these both, right? And instead of, it'll be here about 80. So it'll be something like this, if I can change it. Hopefully, can I change this? Nope. Okay, let's just, so it will be is 80, 1 to 7, 0, 0 0.1, 80. I need to do just is add 80. So it'll be 80, 80. Because that's the port we're using to host the dark web website, right? Save it, and that's you done, right? Prove that this actually works, and I'm not bullshitting you. Because I, I don't, I literally, if I'm doing a video, I do research, and then I actually post. And I have fucked something up, because, well... Um... Okay, so, oh, oh, okay, okay, so I have actually hacked myself, I'm fucking surprised. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm actually the best hacker in the world, I can't believe it, I'm the best motherfucker in the world, look, look, I managed to hack myself, what, what the fuck? I'm not joking, look. <laughs> look, this is this, right? Slash desktop, right? <laughs> and the best thing, this is my actual desktop. 
<laughs> and as you can see, I'm getting requests, which means the, <laughs> this is my website. So I've managed to hack myself. Or I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay, anyways, right, it works. I just proved that this works. I will show you again, right? What we're going to do is hopefully I won't forget. I'm just going to copy this command because I forget this command every single time, right? I'm going to shut this down, right? Okay, now I've closed the terminal, which means the server is down. Well, as you can see, the website just went down. I'm not bullshitting you. This is how you actually host a local host website and a dark web website. I'm not bullshitting over here. This is how easy it gets. This is how easy it gets. I'm just going to paste the command. And as you can see, serving, which means just, just starting. And as you can see, my website. Now, how do you get the H, uh, the Tor browser code, right? Like the, the link. To get the link, all you do is you basically have to follow this route, which I'll show you in a minute, right? So basically, you go other locations, computer, you go to var, lib var, lib library, what I think it's called. You search for Tor, or you just look here for Tor, as you can see, Tor. You're going to have to put your password in. You go to hidden service, host name, and this is the file, that this is your code. Your one will be different than mine. Your one will be shorter, longer, whatever, doesn't matter, right? It'll be just different than mine. Because obviously you can't have the same website addresses. And when you took the, take this, right? You take this code, uh, this sort of gibberish that you just get sort of uh, given by the Tor service. I need to put my password again. I don't know why. You just take this, copy it, right? Just paste it, paste it. And it works, as you can see, right? It works. It's a dark web website. Anybody in the world can access it. As long as they have the link, right? However, obviously, people are not going to guess this. This is, There's no way someone's going to guess this. But if you were to, for example, you want to impress your friends and, like, program a website and go to their house and say, okay, launch the Tor browser and you're going to have this, right? Yeah, I think you can change the names as well. I'm not sure. But what you can also do is, obviously, if you have the right knowledge, you can host this or browser on your like Amazon cloud and whatever, because that's what people do. They host websites and stuff. Now, obviously, you no, know, maybe particularly like Tor browsers, but um, Tor services. Sorry, but like they host other stuff as well, like just anything, right? So I hope we've actually learned something. I've actually enjoyed doing this. I thought it's quite cool to show you guys, like show you how to do this. So I've just sat it on for you guys. It took me about it took me about half an hour to set this up just to make sure everything's working and record a video. So it wasn't that long. I hope you've enjoyed everything. And if you can subscribe, leave a comment while you could improve in my videos, I'll be very grateful for your support. See you in the next video. Cheerio.